Reef DVM is coming at you with a fun project on the goat barn. Uh, we're putting up one of these poly feed silo bins. Um, this particular one is manufactured by a company called Polydome. Um, I got a co-op or a, excuse me, a feed mill in town uh, down by North Branch called Peterson's and they were able to get me one of these. I drove down and actually picked it up. Also picked up a 11 foot auger for it and uh, had one of my daughters come out and Help me put this thing together. Now we designed the exterior of this goat barn to accept one of these uh, massive poly bins. So the pad was already put in. If you haven't seen that video, you're certainly welcome to look at how we did that. Um, as far as putting one of these up, I'd never done it before. Um, I'd only put up the metal, the metal type bins where you um, kind of ribbit or bolt them together. This is a little different because you make this kind of metal square stand which is a little bit difficult to do unless you've got two people and then you drop this huge you know poly um, plastic cone in the center of it and then we actually have straps going down the side of this part only because we want to have the extra strength in case our mineral gets um, too strong for it or too heavy for it and then you put this big poly top on now I know you're gonna say this looks dirty and Looks like you got some mold on it and stuff. You know, sometimes folks in your farm, you can't always afford everything new. Sometimes you got to go to somebody's place, take it apart, pack it up, bring it back to the farm and put it up used. So in this situation, I got a, I got a great deal on it. Let's just put it that way. But it still had to be somewhat assembled and reassembled. The bottom um, did not have the angle that I needed. I needed a 45 degree cone at the bottom. They make them in 45, 30s. They make them in a flat 90. So we did have to redrill that and put that on. The other thing was is it wasn't um, exactly set up for an auger. So I had to put the auger mount base in too. And when we we're putting the top together, um, I decided to use all new hardware. So all new bolts with um, rubber cushions on them to help seal it. I did silicone my seam. Um, and of course, some of the holes I could match up real well and just kind of pound in. Other ones I had to kind of drill out. Um, the a cap on the top, um, we power washed it, cleaned it all up. Um, it was extremely dirty. Um, and then uh, put a new hinge on it. The base, basically I um, tightened up with great big um, uh, anchors into the concrete. I did have to hammer drill those in. Even though this concrete is only a couple weeks old, you know, it's already set up enough that it forced me to use the hammer driver, um, drill down about six to eight inches, and put these uh, great big uh, Tapcon bolts in. Um, I choose to use the Tapcon. You can use the spreader type or whatever you want, but I really wanted this thing to hold. Um, just prior to this, folks, uh, we had a near miss on the farm of a of an F EF1 tornado and um, it ripped apart a lot of our structures that were kind of freestanding like this and I've gotten firsthand witness to see that these tap cons can certainly hold um, but once they're gone there's no backup your structure is going to go flying so let alone am I going to tap con these in I also have some big eye bolts um, in this concrete slab that I'll attach to it Heck, I'm going to at least make a, an EF3 or EF4 come through to, to rip this thing apart. So I'm, I'm going to make it strong enough that by the time it's gone, it's because it's completely wrecked and State Farm's going to need to come in and assess it for a check. Um, so I really, really worked hard at getting this thing in. Uh, unfortunately, it's a completely rainy weekend, but that really didn't make a difference anyways because I had to bleach the inside of this to get the mold out of it and everything else. But my daughters and I, we just kept working our way through this getting this thing up again it's a little challenging it's certainly never do one of these alone because the the poly although it's fairly light it's very awkward this bin is rated for five thousand pounds of feed um you know in a mineral i probably should only put about four in it if you did a, a mineral um thing in it um i like to do custom feeds for my goats so it's going to be feed and mineral together. So again, I'll probably put about 4,000 pounds in. I'll put two tons in it. But again, it's rated for 5,000. So we'll see how it all ends up working out. Um, one of the shortcomings I have is to get the auger position right, I had to get this thing close to my barn. 
I'm really not sure I like that. I'm still not sure I liked it. I know it's going to drop a little bit of snow on the top of this thing's edge. I'm hopeful that it can hold up through it. As you can see, I've got the structure up right now. Um, but with where the auger has to come into the barn, I really only had my choice of 18 foot auger, 11 foot auger, and six foot auger. Well, six foot's too short, 18's too long, because I can't get that close to the gas tank and keep the gas tank people happy. So I had to go 11, had to push it close to the barn. You'll see what I mean. Inside during the rainy time, um, we're working on putting the auger together. The only short side to the auger is I started to run out of funds, um, even though I know I you know, got a heck of a deal getting this more used unit. Um, the auger part of it is absolutely brand new. And to save a little bit of money, I went with the half horsepower motor. That would not be my choice, folks. I would definitely go with, with the bigger motor. Um, but I figured at least at this point, I can afford this. Let's put it on. If I wreck it in four or five years or whatever, I'll put a bigger motor on. It's already proven to be the point, though, that the smaller motor can't handle the full dump of the feed. I do have to regulate how much feed I let come down at a time so the motor can keep up with it. It's a belt. It's a motor that runs a small pulley and runs a belt down to the auger. And obviously, um, when you're dumping a full load of, of mineral into the bottom of this and having it auger it up 11 feet, if you see the motor stop because the pulley isn't slipping, so to speak, you know you're working that motor. Um, here it is. I've got the auger in place. It took several of us to get it up there. I don't have the motor on it yet. Um, I've got the supports on it. I'm using guide wires to kind of hold it up and give it extra support. I've got it in place at the bottom. I've got it all bolted on. And as you can see, I've got the bolts, they're carriage bolts, all to the inside. So it's nice and smooth on the inside. And now I'm putting the half horsepower motor up on the top. And then I'm going to punch the hole in the barn for the electrical. Then I'm going to punch the hole in the barn for the PVC tubing. And I'm going to come right into a feed box that I'm going to build. Um, at this point, it's, you know, getting dark. But again, we keep going. I've got UF wire that I'm running through the barn. Um, I'm going to PVC conduit for safety just to be safe. Uh, and then I'm, I'm running it obviously to a GFCI uh, uh, circuit inside, inside the barn. So once I got that all in place, um, I had to secure up the barn so it doesn't get water in it. Uh, everybody does this different, folks. I chose to use a roofing boot. I went to Menards, bought a roofing boot, um, and shoved a 3-inch um, sewer pipe PVC through it. And then at the top, I, I used a, um, a sewer pipe uh, expansion clamp and just um, hose clamped it on. So this is pretty much the way it looks as of right now. Again, it augers right up to the right height. Um, it, you know, once it gets to the top, it, it drops it down into the chute, which goes into the feed bucket on the other side to which the family can scoop out of. A um, little bit of wall support there, and then the black PVC comes down, and then it's been now, everybody does feed bins different. Some people buy them. Some people have a garbage pail. What I don't like about garbage pails, folks, is I have a lot of kid help. Um, I know my kids are young right now, and I understand that, but I need them to be able to reach in this. The other thing is, is I got a lot of farm hands, and some of them aren't the biggest. And again, they need to be able to reach in this. And one thing I like about the feed bunks I build, I try to use a slanted front door, which lowers the amount of reach that they need to get in it. I decided to build this. Um, raised so it's off the ground with green treated um, two by fours on the bottom, flat plywood floor, excuse me, a flat OSB floor, and then plywood sides. And I put a, a plywood cover on it. Um, the girls actually did most of the work. I just did the cutting and kind of the telling them where the pieces went, and they pretty much got it done. I took the back piece, about a foot long piece, and that's where I punched my hole and went through. And then I hinged in front of it. Um, that way they're not bumping the pipe that drops the grain in. This is probably the prettiest this box will look, folks. Within about six months, it's going to be full of grain dust and full of fly crap on the outside of it. Because my goat feeds have dry molasses in them. I use dry molasses because it doesn't freeze as bad in the winter. And I'm hopeful that it'll get through the auger system the best. This is my box. I know it looks a little flat in the picture, but it's actually got a slanted front end to give them that ability to reach in. The two by fours on the side are for my youngest daughter, so she can step up and reach if she needs to. I've got some nice hinges here on top, um, and there's the bin. 
it should hold um, literally uh, probably about 350 to 400 pounds of feed um, in this in this box. So you saw I kind of divided into two compartments. The first compartment is going to hold that 350 to 400 pounds of feed. The other compartment is just going to hold um, bags and uh, and um, specialty grains that we need. I appreciate you watching, folks. This is the uh, poly um, bin um, silo that we put up, and it's got the auger, and I'm hopeful that it's going to run and work good. As you can see it filling here, folks, it's coming to life for me. It won't be long. We'll have the goats in this barn. We'll be feeding them, and we'll be making use of this. Appreciate you watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll keep putting out great videos like this.